previously on the Newfie Boys Unleashed. Now, for fuck's sakes, I forgot the fucking load the goddamn gun. Well, we're on the way right now, boys, to fucking hit up Miss Meaner's Pizza. Honest the fuck, kid. Get out of the bush! Kevin, Kevin, it's me. Don't shoot. Magic? Brother. Sure, that fucking brother. What the hell? Swim leap boys, so fucking sleep in a little bit. Hey, to get me fucking coffee and all the dick Fucking early in the morning. Jeez. There you go. Oh. Get fucking settled away. Oh, there we go. What do you use it? Oh. No, completely awake yet, boys. It's fucking early man. All right, sorry, magic. All right, I'm ready. You sure? We've been here for fucking twenty minutes, Kevin. Waiting on you. Fuck. There's all God's magic here. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm ready, magic. Fuck, see me coffee already this morning. What the fuck is you? What the fuck is that? Some sort of fucking bulk today, fucking growl in there. Jesus Christ, boy. I just laid me coffee down on the fucking table and I already got goddamn bugs falling in the fucking tank. Sorry, Magic. <clears throat> Continue what you're saying. Magic ain't going first. I am. <clears throat> so. We're here now. All of us. Talk about Michael's funeral. <clears throat> so. Right now the plot is picked out. Okay. The coffin is picked out. We just need to come up with service arrangements. So does anybody have anything in mind for the actual service itself? Well, I think we all come to the fucking conclusion. And we're not putting Michael in a fucking church. That goddamn place will burn to the ground. Put fucking Michael in a church. And Michael would not want to be in a church. I already know he wouldn't. However, in saying that, the goddamn camera shifted. Let's fix that shit real quick. All right. Fuck's sake. What's going on? All right. So, <clears throat> I think we've come to that conclusion that it's going to be in a funeral home. With that being said, the funeral, from what I determine, and the math, if my math is accurate, the funeral is going to cost upwards eight thousand dollars when it's said and done. The coffin alone is for you're looking at four or five grand just for the casket that we got picked out. So, <clears throat> which brings me to you, Kevin, Mister Fucking Double O Seven over here. Some of the money that you and Michael ended up stealing that night, you decided. To push some of it towards this funeral, didn't you? If not all of it. The, the fucking funeral's completely covered me. <clears throat> me and uh, 
MJ was talking about that that night, actually, that we were having a conversation. I said to MJ, I said, Michael's funeral is completely covered. We made more than enough money that night at fucking Harnham's Bakery to be able to cover all that. So, his fucking funeral is 100% on me, covered. Like I say, it's the fucking least I can do for it, honestly. Perfect. Excellent. Now, have we got any ideas between us who the pallbearers are going to be for his casket? Any ideas? Well, boys, as much as I would love to be a pallbearer for Michael, I'm too old. I'm not going to be able to carry the coffin. However, right off the bat, we know that Magic, you're definitely going to be one. Kevin, 100%. MJ, I'm sure you can manage to do it. But we need a few more pallbearers to be able to carry this coffin. So, anybody got anything in mind? Well, boys, I know for sure that fucking Stacy and Trinity's dad will be happy to fucking do it. He'd be honored to fucking do it. So, that that's makes four. So, we need two more people. Stacy and Trinity's out of the fucking question. Not that fucking females can't do it. But two of them are fucking pregnant. So they're out of the fucking question, so the fuck is the other two going to be? I don't know, Kev. I'm not sure. I'm really not. I'm not 100% sure what the fuck we're going to do. Not sure. I don't know about who the fucking other two is going to be. If fucking old man Charlie could, that would be five. When we we would just need one more. But I don't know. Anybody else got anything in mind, old man? Do you do you know? I know magic. I know exactly who could fucking do it. Who do you have in mind, MJ? Well. What about Pop? What? Absolutely not, MJ. Absolutely not. There's no fucking way in hell that my brother is getting the fucking satisfaction in carrying his son that he abandoned years ago to his grave. Absolutely not. MJ, you do know the story behind your grandfather, right? Calm down, okay? Because he might actually not know. But do you know, MJ? Yes, I do know. I know how he abandoned you, Uncle Magic, and you, Uncle Kevin. And I also know the story of how old man Charlie started to fucking take care of you guys. I know the story, but I figured I would offer just for the simple fact that who else is going to do it? Well, MJ, I appreciate the suggestion, but your grandfather is the last person that's going to carry a muggle's casket. In fact, your, la your grandfather is the last person that's going to be at the funeral. As a matter of fact, your grandfather is going to be the last person to know Michael's even dead right now. Hey, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help, guys. Sorry. MJ, man, you don't need to apologize for anything. Alright? Trust me, I appreciate your fucking suggestion. I understand where you're coming from. Okay? It's just, your grandfather was a deadbeat to myself and Magic. To where old man Charlie had to fucking basically raise us along with our mom. I 
my man Charlie was the father figure in our life. And myself, Magic, and your fathers. Trust me, I appreciate your suggestion very much, me. It's just, we don't want your grandfather having anything to do with anything right now. He didn't have the time of day for us growing up, and he sure, and we, I should say, sure as hell don't have the time of day for him now. And that's a man that you're never going to meet. You got no fucking worries. I'm not going to allow him in our life anymore. Trust me on that. And in fucking regards to you two. Let's get something fucking clear, alright? And you fucking listen very carefully. Two of you, stop fucking acting out. Alright? Old man Charlie, have some fucking respect. The boy just lost his fucking dad. You don't need to be fucking yelling at him. You have some fucking respect. You understand me? Kevin. None of us meant it in a bad way, man. Calm down. The fucking hell you never. Let me fucking tell you something. Right the fuck now. Because I don't think you fucking understand and realize it. If it wasn't for you. Michael wouldn't have fucked off for fucking 10 years. That would have been fucking 10 years that myself and fucking Magic could have had with him. But you got fucking pissed off with him. You said some fucking shit that you fucking shouldn't have. That's never been public. And it ain't gonna be public now either. Because I'm not going to fucking do that to you. But guess what? You're the fucking reason that he fucked off for fucking 10 years. 10 years we could have had with our fucking brother. So guess what? You got no room to fucking talk about goddamn anything. Because we fucking loved him more than you ever did. Kevin. Calm the fuck down. You're acting out of anger and rage right now, man. Old man Charlie, he just, he's hes mad. All right? You're acting out of fucking anger. Now relax. The fucking hell I'm acting out of anger. Because he fucking knows I'm right. He fucking knows I'm accurate. And I'm not fucking lying. You're fucking partially right. Yeah. I got pissed off at Michael. Ever since he put his hands on his ex-wife. When Michael smacked your mother, MJ. Oh man, Charlie. Don't. Really not the right time. What's going on? No magic. He deserves to know. He's old enough now. Michael got really mad one night. Really mad. I can't remember exactly... To the T, why he was mad, so I'm not going to put words into his mouth or thoughts into his brain. Because I don't know for certain. But I do know that I went over that night because I had a parcel for your father. And I went over to the house. And when I walked in, the house was beat to shit. And I see him smack your mother right to the floor. And I knocked Michael out cold.
knocked him out cold, and when he came to, I told him if I ever see him around you or your mother again, that I was going to make sure he never had nothing to do with the either one of you ever again. Because he'd be in jail for life. And then Michael left for 10 years. You were only four years old. You didn't know what was going on. Technically, actually, you were only two at that time. You didn't know what was going on. And that's why your father left for 10 years. And the only reason that he come back in the picture at all is because we... Me and him made amends, and he cleaned up his act big time in 10 years. So I told him, I'll give you one more chance to come back, but this is your last. So he did. So what you're telling me right now, old man, is my dad abuse my mom absolutely not mj that's not what i'm saying at all what i'm saying is your dad got mad one night smacked your mother and i told him to leave the both of your lives until he smartened up and was ready to come back so he left for 10 years and he contacted me and said he was ready to come home. That he smartened up a lot. Got his anger in control. Went to anger management. Was on medication. And he cleaned up his act. And I said, well, come home, Michael. Because we're ready to have you. And he did. And he's been a hell of a lot better man since. I didn't get rid of your fucking brother, Kevin. Or magic for that matter. I didn't get rid of your fucking brother for 10 years. I saved your brother. Who was there and helped him when he was back in the drugs, huh? Me. I saved your fucking brother. I didn't do anything to push him away. I saved him. So let me tell you something, Kevin. Don't you fucking ever say again that I didn't fucking love Michael or either one of you. Because guess what? I fucking raised the three of you myself just as well to say. And I saved your fucking brother. Yeah, you guys fucking loved Michael. But don't ever fucking say more than me. Because I fucking did. You understand me? And if you want to get your ass kicked, bring it. No, sir. No, sir. No. We're not doing this. All right. Kevin, stand down. All right. Old man Charlie, go get some air. I mean it. Go get some air. Everybody's too pissed off right now. Emotions are getting the better of everybody. All right. Michael's gone and doing this is not going to bring him back. All right. Old man Charlie, go cool down. Kevin, sit back down. All right. Everybody fucking relax.
Now you sit your ass back down. Now! All right. Now that's done and over with. I need you to do something, Kevin. I need you to go up to the graveyard. Here's a fucking little image of the graveyard. There's a little map. Where the check mark is, is Michael's plot. I need you to go up there and prepare it for Michael. Make sure it's cleaned up. Nothing wrong with it. And ready for everybody to dig, well, ready for the fucking grave diggers to dig the hole. Go and do that. long fucking couple weeks. Alright, baby. Everything's cool with the fucking plot. Just fucking took care of all of it. So. Yeah, no fucking worries. Now I'm in, baby. The fucking plot's all done. Perfect. Get Michael's fucking funeral arrangements straightened away. Get the rest of it done. Figure it out. Everything. Oh, fuck. Ghost. Ghost. Ghost, we got a serious situation on our hands. Fucking serious. Jesus, MJ. You alright? What the fuck's going on? I go to school with this guy named Corey. Okay, Corey just gave me a call. He overheard his dad, who owns Harnum's Bakery. He overheard him say that he knows that you guys were the ones that robbed it. He is sending 40 to 50 people here tonight to shoot this whole place up and to kill everybody in sight. Get fucking old man Charlie right now. Get old man Charlie. We gotta get fucking ready, man. Fuck's sake. I thought we were done with this shit. Alright. I'm gonna grab old man Charlie. Whatever fucking guns we got, make sure we got enough ammo. If not, run to the store. They're not going to expect us right now to know that they are showing up. Load every fucking weapon in the house. I'm getting old man. Alright, MJ, you're coming with me. 
We're getting you the fuck out of here. You're not going to stay around here the fucking night with this fucking going on. I don't care. Let's fucking go. The fucking hell I'm not. Fucking ready, Uncle Kevin. These motherfuckers killed my dad. Now I get revenge. Let's get ready. MJ. What the fuck did I do, me? What the fuck did I do? Never fucking should hit that place up, man. Because now there's the fucking possibility that me, MJ, Old Man Charlie, and Magic, all of us are going to be dead tonight. Fucking regret it later. I got a fucking war to fight me. Next time on the Newfie Boys Unleashed. See you on the other side, hey? I love you, man. I love you too, Magic. Stay safe. Now go, so we can get fucking prepared. We only got maybe a half hour left of daylight. Alright, Magic. Oh, man, Charlie. You alright down there, man, or what? Yeah, I'm alright, Kev. Alright. Everybody in the fucking position. MJ, you good? Yeah, I'm good, Uncle Kevin. Alright. Now!